Well, hello there, YouTube. Man, I don't know about these mornings. It's just getting to be a little too nice. This is getting to where we're being a little spoiled here lately. But man, it's just been downpouring like you wouldn't believe. I'm sure you hear all the gutters are clicking and a clanking. Sidewalks just covered. It just, I mean, it looks like it just got through typhooning out here. Madison. But uh, the, the reason that's a bad thing is we go down the freeway, we're facing the sun almost the whole way there because the sun sweeps in the southern sky and uh, all that water on the freeway just kicks up in our face. That's Sparky, already collecting stuff again. All right, let's go for it. Well, there... It's always gonna be a loud car or something to race along. I know it. Two more days. And yep. Hopefully, we can get a day's ride in on the I weekend. I know it. It's supposed to, so I'll cross yep. fingers. We've got a couple of Himalayans that are itching to go for a ride. Yes, they are. Let them chase each other around for a little. We'll just turn them loose out in the field and have a little picnic. There we you go. You guys don't hurt yourselves. <laughs> All right. All right. Have a wonderful day. You too, sweetheart. Love. See you. Bye. I love you. <laughs> bye bye now. Bye. Yep. The demo broke. Had to bring her back. <laughs> no. This is a, a, a second one. You guys better come snag this thing because I don't think they're gonna last long. So, I took the bags and stuff out because they're sealed. You don't want to open them. And I noticed. Well, let me just tell you this first. So Ryan just brought this down. And again, here's this weird non-fitting rear trunk bag. Well, the problem with this, I watched a presentation. It says that it comes with the saddlebag bags. No mention of a trunk bag. Until I look at the description, it says cargo bag left. So I go over and I look at what came out of mine. And same thing, cargo bag left. Well, I noticed that the seal is not clipped for the front bag. You got to run them through the through the zipper and click them. Because there's some funky thing about using used luggage. Well, guess what's inside the front luggage? The right bag. How weird is that? So they do come with saddlebag bags and no rear trunk. I love that yellow. I've got some of those climb things. That is the best thing for a bike because you can see your stuff in there. And this is for sea disguise only. Oh, that's a piece of dust. So anyway, I'm gonna leave those out and I'm a, you can see they didn't click the, the little clicker. It's just a thing so that people know that you're not buying used luggage. There's some weird thing about that, I don't know. Somebody left her underoos in there or something. I have no idea. Anyway, I thought that was kind of cool. So it does come with a left and right saddlebag bag and a front trunk bag. A really cool. Definitely better made than the old original ones from way back when. And it looks like it clearly has more, well, it's got more space for more room. So anyway, I thought you'd find that interesting. Look at that. Number three. Oh man, I'm telling you guys, see the skies. These things are rare as hen's teeth. I don't know how we got two extra ones. Y'all better come on and get it. I'm telling you, that is, well, I could go on about that thing forever. Mama? Yes, uh -huh. It looked like you had one crazy day out there. I did, I ran my hiney. Wow. Ooh. That was nuts. Getting out of here late too. Well, hopefully we'll see some of that on the way home. I vote for that. Kind of the wrong direction, but you, you, you can, can be hopeful. Hope. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I'll go home and tinker with the Himalayan and do some stuff on that. I kind of save go. time for that today. All right. All right. <laughs> Look at that. The Polaris generator got its own little. We finally got some more of those Optimate ones in. What do you think there? Danny Magoo, you can be my little shop buddy. And I got another Optimate uh, 3 for the, um, well, whatever. I need one more for a motorcycle. And uh, 
So I got another one of the Moose branded ones. They're all the same thing. It's an Optimate 3. There's Honda branded one. I've gone through all that before. Like you can see that red one right there. That's a Honda branded Optimate 3. That's what's on the Road King. That same Optimate, that thing's been, that was on my O2 Road King. Um, the 15 Street Glide, the 17 Street Glide. Now it's on the uh, the 20 Road King. So I'm going to do suspension adjustment, put the battery tender lead, and I like to set my levers and mirrors and everything up a certain way. And um, I just kind of give her a little well, looking over. That battery tender lead's kind of a pain in the butt on this thing. We did it to Kelly's. And I'll probably just run it out the same place because that, that worked out really well. And it tucks and stays out of the way. And I use the Optimate, you know, uh, weatherproof caps like this. I use their leads. This is the lead out of the one for the generator I just showed you. And I forgot to bring a license plate frame. And it's where the the bolt holes <laughs> don't line up with uh, with our stuff. So you remember I had to modify Kelly's to make it work. But uh, yeah, this is weather sealed. So that's nice. So you don't get a bunch of gunk in there. But uh, all, there's another one of those in this kit along with another set of alligator clamps. All right, so that's what we're going to start off with here. It's a fairly uh, tight fit for that battery. And um, ended up running it down and cycling it through so that the, the little waterproof thing kind of pops in right there above the, the uh, rear master cylinder. What I found with Kelly's is I just pulled a bunch of this stuff out of the way and it makes it easier to to get the tray and everything out. And I just pulled the battery out and I clean and lube the terminals with dielectric grease and go back together. There's your ABS pump. Cool. Need to get this thing. I don't know why I worry about detailing. It's just going to get dirty right away anyway. <laughs> but... You gotta start off a little fresh, but I won't mess with that tonight. I just look and see in some of the spots from getting the uh, snow slushy grime thrown all over it on its way from Bend to uh, Vancouver. All right, let's play with this thing some more. Kind of a tight fit on these, but uh, on this, uh, the battery stay, the outer plate, there's a starter relay and the turn signal relay. This is your starter switch, starter solenoid, whatever you want to call it. There's your turn signal relay. I pop them off, fold this out of the way. The ground is going in there farther into the frame, so you can't pull the ground cable all the way out. So you just got to kind of hold it out of the way. And I'm sure you guys do like I do. You um, take the nuts out of the battery and then stick them back in there so you don't lose or pull the bolts out and stick it back in so you don't lose the nut. I'll show you how you correct that here in a second. Do not leave those on when you're taking them out of here because the battery slides across here and those nuts will make contact with the frame. And you will find out just how much power, and I do mean power, is in a small 12 volt battery. You'll be shocked. And I, I don't mean that in a funny way. You'll be surprised. But I'll show you a little trick to make sure your nuts don't fall off. That way you can take your uh, your bolt. The first time, you're just going to have to risk it. The battery's got to be out. You can't do this while it's in it. But I'll show you something kind of cool here. So you know them spools of the old, the old battery style with the vent hose? Probably got those things laying around. Probably still in the bag from the last one of the old batteries you bought. Cut off little pieces of that. And what you do is you lift it and you roll that piece of rubber or plastic sideways in there and it'll hold it. I can't do this with one hand. So let me slide one in and I'll show you. So what you do is you take it and you just roll it. You're just gonna squeeze it and roll it underneath that bolt. But the key is to push the, the little hose so that it's centered. And now your bolt stays there right at the top. Almost like it's a BMW or 
Harley Exite battery that just uses a solid post with a threaded threaded right into the lead. That way you don't lose your battery bolt. It'll always stay there. Then you take some dielectric grease and you squeeze that down in there and wet everything down. And uh, your post will stay nice and safe and, and uh, corrosive free. These aren't that bad, but it can still happen. Maintenance free batteries will do it as well. So just a little quick tech tip. So there she is, well greased. Uh, this is a Yamaha uh, brake caliper grease. If you read the instructions, it's 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 basically dielectric grease. It it literally is dielectric grease. They don't make it anymore, so don't look for it. You can get it at any auto parts store. So when you put your bolt back in, it's going to push some more grease around, and you fill those areas better. But look at this. Look at this one here. She's just hanging on by a thread in there, and that's how you end up losing them. They'll they'll exit out the side. There's a little trough there to try to hold it, but yeah, you get to move around different angles, you'll lose it. So I'm gonna do the same thing. This one, gotta grab it first, lift it, hold it up, and squish your little piece of hose in there. All right, time for the next one. I just wanna point out as well, by no means is it necessary to pull the battery out to put battery tender leads. Right where these terminals are, I can take the bolts out. Remember, the heavy gauge wire goes against the battery, and the accessories go on top. But I, got to, I could have taken the bolts out, shot a little grease in there, popped it in, you know, with the with the leads on. Remember, positive, for, when you're going back together, positive first. Do everything you're going to do on the positive side, and then when you're done, negative last. And when you're removing it, it's reverse. Always disarm the negative first. And when you go back together, you arm it with the negative last. So just remember that. So anyway, it's not necessary to do this. But two things, it makes it a little easier with the bracket and everything out to route the wires the way I routed it. And I like to get the battery out, make sure all this is clean. And I put my little holders in there so I don't lose the nuts later in life so that's the only reason I do it just being anal are you searching for me huh? are you searching for me yes did you not get my little text back no I didn't oh it must be the low quality wi-fi out here huh anyway I was about to show the peeps my finished wiring stuff here so the tender lead I got it I cut a little hole and it's sneaking into that boot, so that's all safe. Everything's routed, nothing's chafing on anything, nice and clean. Make sure it doesn't move and chafe on anything. And there's my uh, tender lead. And I put it on there just, just tight enough that it pops in, stays in, just like I did on Kelly's. What did we do with that little battery hose thing? Remember we stuck it underneath the battery bolts? I was just showing them that little trick like we do at work. Oh. And he cut the little slivers of the battery vent hose stuff off of an old battery. Yeah. We had a whole spool of it and I couldn't find it. I did find a little piece and I made it work. But All right. So, uh, yeah, I'm just going to button this thing back up for now. I got my levers and mirrors and everything where I like it. Um, free play on clutch and all that stuff. The tender lead so I can put her on the cooker. <laughs> and um, I guess that's going to be it for now. How about that? <laughs> well, hello there, YouTube. We were just talking. So uh, it's late. The little woman can't let her get hungry. I don't know why she doesn't eat on her own. I'll just figure it out myself. Nah, but wait. that's fun. Messing around with the, with the little Himalayan. There's mamas right there. We're going to have so much fun with these things. Oh, yeah. And looking through the comments with you guys. You guys are looking forward to the to the rides and stuff together. I I can hardly wait. It's going to be a ton of fun. We're definitely not in our normal thing here because I like, feel like I'm towering over you there, Mama. <laughs> There's a little hole and stuff. There's little tricks we do, so we try to sit together, angle in the car. Yeah. Uh, just, that way I'm you're just not, short. That way you're not staring at a head here and a head up there. Yeah. <laughs> kind of like we're doing here. 
But anyway, fun day. Got to tinker with the... I wish I had filmed more of that. But that was fun. I showed you guys the goofy little things. I, I used to set up the little tripod and do the whole thing, but I end up with a crazy amount of footage, and I just don't have the time to do that when I'm working all day and then coming home and trying to build a vlog to all hours in the morning. So sorry about the lack of fancy camera work. It's not like I don't know how to do it. It just takes a lot of time. It uses a lot of footage, and you guys know. You, a lot of you guys do the same stuff. So. so people do a video a week and spend all week just making one video. I couldn't even imagine what that would be like. I know it. I <laughs> spent all that time every single day. So, yeah. anyway, thanks for all the nice comments about the new Himalayan and talking about the rides. And there's been a lot of a lot of great comments. I really appreciate all the, the feedback from y'all. You guys <laughs> are so sweet. Heck yeah. But on that, I think we're going to bail out on you. Alrighty. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. We will talk to you tomorrow. Same smoke time, same smoke channel. Don't forget to give her a thumbs up and you guys have a wonderful Friday or Saturday. Heck yeah. I'll leave you with this. Here, can I spin this around while you're sitting there? Look at that. Oh, sorry about the hand. I was just showing you that. Did you see all the nice clean wiring I did, Mama? Oh, it's so I did it like yours. But yours has a gray, yeah, you have a gray little cap on your Optimate thing. Oh, yeah. Mine's all black. I guess that just fits with the, see the little cap on it. It's, on hers is gray. We're going to have so much fun. I know. And then on rides, when you and I don't go on rides, we're going to play with that. We're going to play with that. We're going to play with that. We're going to play with them. We're going to play with oh, them. How are we going to sort all these things out? I don't know. Yeah. Several people are going, I don't know how. Yeah, you got more bikes and you got days in the week. I don't care. We'll figure it out. Yep. We're having fun. That's all yes. that matters. All right. Say goodnight to the Himalayan because I'm going to here in a little bit as soon as I button her up and put it away. All right. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Mm -hmm.